Key Biscayne, across the bay from downtown Miami. A peaceful location of stunning natural beauty. The historic Cape Florida Lighthouse has been guiding ships into port for over 150 years. And over in the nearby Crandon Park Tennis Centre, the spotlight is firmly on the game's superstars. But more so than for Roger Federer, the Swiss star is making his long-awaited return to action in front of the Florida fans after knee surgery forced him to miss the last two months on tour. Federer ready for his return and more focused than ever. I'm really pleased to be back on the tour. It's been seven weeks and a few days now. And yeah, it feels great to be back practicing with the best players and um, being in a draw again and talking about, you know, a match rather than talking about rehab. It's been a good process. I kind of enjoyed it actually, uh, if that makes any sense. But uh, um, I'm just really pleased, you know, I'm here now and can't wait for the tournament to, to start for me. Out on court Thursday didn't start well for the local contingent. Donald Young lost to Andreas Seppi in three sets in the opening round of Indian Wells and was again on the back foot in their rapid rematch. Oh, nicely done. Seppi. And Seppi moving on. Just a game away now. A set and a breakdown. There was no coming back from that for the Chicago. And that rather sums it up. Game. It's a victory Seppi. for Andrea Seppi. Somewhat Seppi. muted applause Three. inside Six, the arena here. Tough day for Donald Young. It was Tom versus Tim over on Grandstand Court, meanwhile, with Tommy Paul playing in the Miami main draw for the first time against fellow American qualifier Tim Smychek. An entertaining seesaw of a contest, Paul had his chances in a tight opening set, but his compatriots stood firm. That's good work. Coming over there, side to side. New Jersey native Paul was staring down the barrel with Smycheck match points arriving in set two. Paul had fought valiantly, but despite forcing a decider, Smycheck would eventually see out the third, 7 5. Smycheck through in three and will face another fellow American in round two with John Isner up next. Without a win on tour for six months, Dennis Istomin may not have relished the prospect of facing 19-year-old starlet Borna Koric, the Croatian widely touted as one of the next generation stars of tomorrow. And from the early exchanges you can see why breaks were traded in the opening set, but ultimately the young Croatian would prevail. And a lot more in the affirmative for Chorich as he three. dominates game eight. Does so with a little flair at the end, but ultimately he's able to distance himself from Mr. Three. Three. Yeah, nice disguise on that one soft landing. Pretty good, got Istam in there hitting up. Having seen his ranking slip to 76 in the world, though, Istamin was desperate to return to winning ways. The Uzbek player responded from a breakdown in the second to level the match up. Very sensible tennis from Istamin over the last couple of points. A hugely entertaining deciding set could have gone either way, and Koric was showing flashes of his burgeoning talent. Oh, it's on the line. Incredible yeah, run. So much elevation on it as well. An erratic game when serving to stay in the contest, though, saw match points arrive on the Croatian serve. And he's got it. Yeah, Six months it's taken for Denis Istomin since his last win on the ATP World Tour. That will taste very sweet indeed. So as the sun sets on another day in Miami, we await the sports superstars on Friday when round two will get underway at the Miami Open presented by Italian.